labels, containers, and prep. Oh my! In this video, I'll be answering the number one question about these math bundles, as well as how to put the labels on and save time with prep. But before I answer that question, let me say that you can store these games in anything. In fact, I used baggies before I decided to splurge on something a little more expensive, these guys. Now, the number one question I'm asked about these math games are, where do you get the containers? Well, I've got great news. You can find these containers in a lot of different places. I've purchased most of them from Amazon, which I'll share the affiliate link with you. I've also purchased them from Michaels, Walmart, and Hobby Lobby. Now, you can find these in the storage section at Michaels. You know, that area where they have all the plastic containers for basically everything? They are there. Sometimes they even have them on sale for Black Friday deals. I got a set one year for $12. I've also found these at Walmart in the craft section. I found them on the bottom shelf and they may be located near your jewelry and crafts as some pe crafts people use them to store their supplies. I've also heard that these are found in Hobby Lobby, but I've never actually seen them there. Just ask for the photo storage organizer containers and hopefully someone will be able to help. Now, once you have the containers, you may be asking yourself, how to get the label on. Well, I use hot glue. First, I print the labels on cardstock, cut them and hot glue them onto the plastic. I find this is least expensive and it holds well since the containers have a smooth surface. Now, the labels do occasionally fall off. So I do hot glue it about once or twice a quarter just to reattach them on there that's a problem, then try using command strips to secure them onto the containers. Poster stickers might work great too. Now, if you're anything like me, the thought of prepping 16 math games seems overwhelming, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I do not prep all my math games at once. You know how Disney releases their classic videos from the vault at certain times of the year? That's how these are. In fact, my kit is empty at the beginning of the year. I do not release a new game until the skill has been taught. I find that this builds excitement, just like how Disney does for their movies. But let's say that you're teaching second grade and you just purchased the first grade kit to fill the gaps. You'll want the entire first grade kit prepared for your class. So here's what you should know. All the STEM task cards for first grade are exactly the same. So you'll only need to print one set. The colored task cards are on page eight while the black line task cards are on page nine. The game boards are all different. All colored game boards are on page six and the black lines are on page seven. Race to 20 is the same for each game. You'll only need to print that once and it's on page 10. When printing your game cards, they'll all be on the same pages. So print front to back using long edge binding on your printer settings. Print pages 11 to 20 front to back for all games. Once you know this cheat, you'll be able to print out these games super fast. You should also know that each set of game cards requires five sheets of paper. I like to color coordinate my games so that if I find a card on the floor, I can easily find which game it belongs to. Finally, I print these games on cardstock and I do not laminate a thing because like my friend Sweet Brown says, ain't nobody got time for that. I find that my kids tend to pick off the lamination and I get more upset if they do that than if they were to just bend a cardstock card. So use these tips for prepping your games so that you can save time and money. Now, stay tuned for the next video where I'll explain the four main ways to play.